men firing rifle rounds at another woman in the parking lot of a gas station. It was a bizarre scene captured on a business camera. It was uh, even veteran law enforcement officers were stunned by it. Fox Eyes More Stakes got a close-up look at the type of weapon used in the assault. Here is his report and the reaction. There are a lot of things that are striking about this video you're going to see. The lady being able to handle this rifle with ease. Well, it is very lightweight. It's, it's simple like you're coming to Wild Wild West. The image of a woman on the running board of a pickup, allegedly firing a long gun, stuns even a veteran law enforcement officer. Shocking, very shocking, that you have a female who is hanging out of a vehicle, firing at another female, and at a gas station. The person in the car hit and critically injured. Police identified the suspect as Kelsey Crawford, 30 years old. Her brother, Joshua, drove her to the location, according to police. Which now he's basically accessory to the crime. Preliminary information indicates the victim by the gas pump had been in an altercation with the rifle-toting suspect. Turns out a state trooper was nearby and saw the Crawfords leaving the scene. Retired investigator Curry suggests instead of payback, hit the pause button on the anger. Where is the conflict resolution when you're looking at whomever you might have a, a beef with? It's happening each and every day that we're seeing, and everybody want to blame it on the police. No. you got to start looking at the community. What's next? You know, what's next after this? So how many right? that left a 62-year-old man injured. Our Casey Cronus just spoke with the victim and joins us live with the latest. Casey? Don and Scott, this awful attack unfolded right here on 22nd Place near Princeton in broad daylight. The victim, an Uber driver, tells us he had just gotten home when he was beaten and attacked. Take a look at this surveillance video. It captures the entire ordeal on Tuesday afternoon. Two women take the victim to the ground and soon a third joins in. One of them is seen beating the Chinatown resident with a pipe. Soon they take his keys and get in his car. He tries to stop them by getting on top of the hood, but the women take off. While in good spirits, the victim tells us he suffered scrapes and bruising and is now speaking out. I park my car and then I walk out and uh, then I start to walk to, towards the apartment and three black female and they stop me and uh, hold me and uh, rub me and took my car key. To the mothers and the fathers of these young ladies, you see this on TV, you notice your daughter, your family, you notice her, turn them in.